We got a big fish. Oh yeah. We got a big fish, Cypress. He's coming. That's big, big. Oh wow. This is a this is a big one. I don't know why he's not shaking the limb. He's just sitting there. Watch out, Cypress. Here it comes. It's a big one. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a big fish, buddy. It's a big one. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Excited to be with y'all today. Today, we're gonna be going out here on the lake and we're gonna be running a spread of limb lines. I made these up fresh today. Got about 30 new ones on here and we're gonna be baiting them up with some fresh shad if we can catch some, which I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to catch them off the dock today. And we're gonna be baiting them up on these cypress trees and seeing what we can catch. As most of y'all have heard the news already, this lake is going down. They're draining the water as we speak. So we're trying to um, take advantage as much time as we have out here that's left to fish and see what we can catch and harvest before they either get trapped in a pool of water or, or uh, go through the dam somewhere else. So what I'm excited about today is that we're actually gonna be taking Cypress out here limb lining for the very first time. Him and Jay are in the house hanging out. He's actually taking a nap right now. And uh, we're gonna go out and actually hang these up and then bait them and then run them with Cypress and hopefully we'll have some fish on the line. Uh, things we can catch are catfish. Uh, you can catch bowfin, gar, uh, bullheads, bass. I mean, everything like shad. And uh, there's been a lot of fish activity out here, so should be a good time. To catch bait, we're actually gonna be throwing a new cast net that I got today off the dock. I've been using the same cast net for like three years, which is a miracle in itself. Usually I go through about three a year, but um, I was out here trying to throw it today and it was just not working. So we're gonna bust this bad boy out, hopefully get some fresh shad, set the lines up and hopefully catch some fish. So if y'all are excited about all that, do me a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's see what we can get into today. Let's go. Hit my leg. Got any shad in there? Oh yeah, I got a few shad. When I say a few, I mean two. <laughs> hey, that'll work. Ooh. That is the preferred bait of choice today. Those are some little, ah, little gizzard shads. I need for a school of them to swim by and we'll catch a whole bunch in one throw and we should get enough bait. I'm gonna toss them in the bucket for now. And we'll probably be cutting those in half. So two shad means four baits. Let's see if we can find some more. Hey, we got a couple more. Oh, we got a fish too. Uh oh. Looks like we got like four shads. I think we got a red ear in there too. Nice little bonus catch, a little reddier. We could use him for bait, but let's toss him back. Maybe he'll swim through the dam. Another nice little gizzard shed. We're on our way. We just need to make the right throw in the right spot. I'm gonna wait until I see one shine. Usually I just stand out here and look until I see one splash, and that will indicate there's a whole school in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's more like it right there. <laughs> That's the difference between a, uh, a good throw and a bad throw. We have all the bait we need in just one throw right there. So on this strand of limb lines, I have about 30 individual lines. And I think we probably have twice as many shad in there, 50 or 60 shad at this point. We can cut them in half and have 100 pieces of bait, which is, we'll probably cut some in half, but we'll probably just leave some whole also. Got plenty of bait now, I'm excited. Let's go get these all set up and we'll let them just kind of marinate out there for a few hours and then we'll go back out there with Jay and Baby C and see what's on them. All right, we're out here in the canoe now. We're pulling up to our first tree. We're also doing some scouting for wasp nests. We're definitely in the peak of wasp nest season and we don't want to get Baby C into a predicament. Um, here's a nice limb. These are the kind of limbs you're looking for, ones that are kind of close to the water. I wasn't taking into account that the water's already dropped like a foot out here. And that some of these limbs I'm used to baiting are lower, so my lines aren't super long. So here is our limb line. It's approximately four and a half feet long. Got this nice tree branch. I really want one to bite this thing because this thing is like loaded with a bunch of little cypress berries on there. <laughs> so it's already kind of dangling and I feel like it'd be a good limb shaker. We're gonna bait some of these outside isolated trees and then we're gonna go into the swampy area. 
We just might have a lot of lines, a lot of things to look at. Let's get our little, all our flower pot of shad here. And I'll show you guys how we're rigging them up. So that black dot on there, I usually like to use that as kind of a guide. I like to stick the first hook right through that black dot. I push them up the shank. I keep it on the top part of their back because it's where their media stat. And then I just kind of slide them up the hook. Just like that. And we drop it in and let it wait. Got us another nice tree right here. It's just the next tree from the first one we baited. I really like this system of, um, of rigging and like storing our limb lines because it's really easy to get them on the tree and then whenever we're ready to take them off, it's easy to take them off. You don't have to worry about actually tying the branch or the line to the branch. Just really an effective way to put a bunch of fish in the boat and cover some water. And I actually have to be out here. Okay, we got our first two lines down. We've got, like I said, probably 30 on this, on this little series of lines here. Um, we're gonna run over here into these more densely packed trees. There's some shade over here and it's where we often do the best. But yeah, we're gonna run through real quick. It'll probably take us maybe an hour to get them all set up. And then we'll get back with you when it's time to check them. right now guys we haven't even gotten all the lines baited up and we already have our first fish i was telling jacob that uh this branch right here always produces a fish and what do you know it's got a fish on that thing it's bouncing i'm going to assume or i'm going to bet that this is a channel catfish let's say one and a half pounds doesn't seem very big i think it's Oh, it's a channel cat. Let's go. He might not even be a pound and a half. Look at that, guys. That is our target species of the day. Little channel catfish, perfect eating size fish, and he could not resist that little shad dangling in his face off this tree. That's exciting. It's always a good sign if you are getting fish before you even have your spread out. So let's get this thing rebaited. Let's get this fish in the boat. And let's uh, make sure we don't have any more fish on our lines and let's get the rest of the spread set up. I'm gonna put a fresh shad on here though. That one already did its job. We'll chum the water with it. Hopefully we can get another one on this tree. Yeah, we found some wasps out here. Um, that's what we wanted to do on this first run. There's a big nest up here. We'll turn around and get a look at it. But we went under this bushy branch right here and I was about to grab it and I went, and then wasps, their wings are set like this and they all went, and I was like, uh-uh, so I hit the deck. I was scared. <laughs> I've been burnt by these wasps way too many times. Let's see how many are on it. They didn't get me, so I think we're okay. But look at this one up here. It's not that bad. It could be worse, but it's still a pretty good size dish. It's game time now. We've got the man. We've got Cypress Bear. He is all rigged up and ready. Got the Mickey hat on. He's taking this fish ball there. Yeah. We've got Big Boss. And uh, hopefully we have some catfish out there on the line. It's been probably about an hour since we got them all baited up. Are you ready to go fishing, Cypress? Yeah. Are you going to catch a big fish? Yeah. What How kind big? of fish? A big fish. A big fish? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to load the boat, get everything all situated, and we're going to head out there to our lines and hopefully wrangle up some big old kitty cats. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully he likes this. I'm sure he will. All right, guys. We got some stuff going on out here. Oh, wow. Oh, snap. I got it. <gasps> what is that size? Oh. That's a is there any wasps in here? Well, I hope not. I hope not. Come on out, Snakey.
Here he comes. Here he comes. He's coming out. Whoa! <laughs> That's exciting. All right. Take a look at that. We haven't caught any fish yet on the run, but we're about to. There's a fish on the line right here behind us, but we found our first cool creature out here, and it's a little uh, rat snake. These guys are awesome. We find these things out here on the lake all the time, and that's because well, they love to climb up on these trees, but they like to get out here on these trees because there's often a lot of birds out here that they like to eat. They'll raid little bird nests in the springtime. He's not a very big one, but he is just so cool and very, very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Cypress, look at the snake. Oh my gosh. Do, do you like it? <laughs> What yeah. color is it? White. That's his, yeah, his belly's white. Look at his mouth. See his mouth? Whoa, look at his mouth. Whoa, isn't that cool? <laughs> okay, we're pulling up here on this tree. This guy is grumpy. We're going to send him back. Watch how good he can climb this tree. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he gone. Look at him, look at him climbing. That's awesome. So cool. Okay, we just caught that rat snake. And we're pulling up here to our first line that has an active fish on there. The and Jane and Baby C are going to go in and grab it. Can you grab the line? We're going to get him set at perfect angle. We're going to put the front of the boat over here and let y'all get right up on him. Well, he feels pretty good. He's shaking the tree hard. Ooh. What is it, Sam? Is it a catfish? I think it's a catfish. Cypress, you say catfish? Go get it, Cypress. Get it. get it, Cypress. Grab it. Pull it up. <gasps> Pull it up. What is it? Pull, Pull it up. It. Oh no, oh, grab really it. Grab it. it, Cypress. Here you go. Grab it. Grab it. Pull it up. Grab it. So this right here. Pull the rope. Grab it. Pull it. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Get him in the boat. Get him in the boat. Put him in the boat. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What is that? That's a fish. Yeah. <laughs> That's a catfish, isn't it? You got him, JJ? Oh my goodness. I got him. Aww. Oh, nice. Let me take the hook out of him. That's a keeper. All right, there is our first fish of the day. Our second. It's oh. our second. Oh, it's second. our first one together. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's mine and Cypress's first. Yeah. What kind of fish is that, Cy? What kind of fish is that? A big fish. A big fish? A big fish. A big he's old catfish. He's not a super fish. big fish, but he's a keeper. Yeah, it'll work for <laughs> sure. We've already got that one at home. We'll take him and add him to it, and we'll have ourselves a nice little meal oh, later yeah. on. Awesome. Uh, good. You want to catch another one? Okay, let's go catch another one. He's really wanting to paddle. All right, he just wants his paddle. Okay guys, so we've been checking all the lines and the rebaiting. We most of them don't have any bait. We've had a lot of bait stealers. I think turtles got to them. But I moved this one. It doesn't look like there's anything on there. And then all of a sudden, boom, it took off. I don't know what it is, but it's big. Cypress, come here. We got a big fish. We got a big fish, Cypress. He's coming. That's big, big. Oh wow. This is a this is a big one. I don't know why he's not shaking the limb. He's just sitting Here's there. Watch out, Cypress. Here it comes. It's a big one. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a big fish, buddy. It's a big one. Wow. Oh what? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he splashed you, didn't he? He splashed you. It's a big one. Oh my Be goodness, careful. Cypress. Whoa. <laughs> Got him. Oh God, him! Look at that big daddy! <laughs> wow. Look at that big old catfish, That's Cypress. A catfish. That's a big one. Look that at that is. thing. Jane, that is all. Oh <laughs> Get back in the boat. <laughs> I am soaked. Let me get a lip on him. There we go. Ah, he's biting me. That's a solid one right there. That is a big channel catfish. Look at that thing. You want to touch it? Yeah, touch it. Touch it, Ooh. Cypress. Feel it. Feel it. No. <laughs> 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 the fish at the sea. <laughs> That's the biggest fish you've ever That's seen? That's what he said. I said the biggest fish I've ever seen. <laughs> That's a really nice channel catfish. He's probably like five and a half pounds. It was so weird that he wasn't shaking the branch. He was just sitting there just chilling. I just happened to see some weird bubbles coming up. I was like, what is that? And it was a nice catfish. That was exciting. That was exciting. You want to touch yeah. him one more time? Say hello. Ooh. Oh, he feels funny. Ooh, he feels funny. You want to hold him? No. No, he's too him? big. Should we keep him? You want to keep him? I'm You want to throw him back into the lake? It'd be nice if we could just throw him back in the lake, but I think that might be a little... Ow! <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 look. 
Cypress said that he really wanted to throw this fish back, but we're, we're going to keep it. You know, they're draining the lake down. Um, these fish are going to go to waste if we don't keep them. You know, some of them are going to swim through the lake. A lot of them are going to swim through the lake, through the dam. But, you know, we're wanting to keep some catfish for dinner, and that's a really good one. go as according to plan as we thought it was going to um, but we did still manage to catch a few fish which was nice and it's we really just wanted to get cypress out there in the mm -hmm. canoe to go experience those cypress trees he went out there last fall and did some crappie fishing um, but he's never ran limb lines for catfish and it's something that we do all the time and something that he's unfortunately going to miss out on out here on this lake um, in the upcoming months we're gonna try to get out, go back out there again when the fishing is a little bit better i think we just kind of picked a weird time of day it's supposed to be yeah. cloudy all day yeah. Um, but the sun came out, the turtles were ravenous and they were stealing all of our baits. It was like, as soon as we drop one down and we turn around the line, we just, you know, you know, with a little turtle, just, just stealing the shad. Yeah. Um, but anyways, we're going to go back out there. We might have some more, but I'm just, it seemed like we weren't going to have a whole lot more luck. So we decided just to call it and Cypress was about done at yeah. that point. He was getting hot. He was getting hot. Poor guy. He has to wear that life jacket. I yeah. know that's gotta be hot. Yeah. But at least we did get one big daddy channel catfish. He was pumped about that. Yeah, he, we, he had fun with that. Yeah. That was fun. That, that's, that makes the trip worth it. But anyways, this is where we're going to wrap today's episode. We hope that y'all enjoyed hanging out, hanging out with us out there in the Cypress tree swamp, doing some catfishing. If you'd like to see some more catfishing videos, be sure to let us know down in the comment section. And if you enjoy this one, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We're, we're Colin Jay, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye guys.